this, this is a point I, I, I think is very important to stress uh, to those in uniform and to those in the dark suits in government who are serving this, this uh, system while not actually instigating, they're instigating it, they're serving it. You have no power. I don't care if you're in the military. I don't care if, if you've got how many kind of stars on your, on your uniform. I don't care what level of the police force you're in. I don't care if you're doing roadblocks. I don't care if you're pulling people off the street. I don't care what you're doing. You have no power. Your uniform has the power. Take your uniform off, okay? Put it in the wardrobe. Where's your power? Go and get another job without that uniform. Where's your power? You have no power. You are employed to animate that uniform, which is an extension of the state, and that's all you are, and therefore you are expendable. While you give your soul away, while you give your mind away, while you give your morals and decency away, advancing this, this uh, fascist dictatorship, you will be okay with the fascists that you're serving. But your children and your grandchildren have to live in the world you are creating. And one day you're going to have to understand that and I don't envy you that moment because it's going to be horrific when it dawns upon you the world that you've actually created. The people in uniform and the dark suits that administer the system while not um, being the originators of it, they have to start breaking ranks, okay? Get some backbone, open your mind, look at what's going on and get some freaking backbone before you uh, administer and impose and enforce a world that will be grotesque for your children and grandchildren. In fact, not even, not even that for yourself.